and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. They heard the sound of the Lord God in the garden. Naked and abashed, they went hiding. The Lord God called to Adam, but he said, At your voice, being naked, I was cursed. God asked Adam the reason for what he said. Adam exonerated himself and got the blame deferred upon the woman for such a grievous sin. When asked, she blamed the serpent for such a sin. God cursed the serpent for what he did. Far more than all beasts of the field, the snake would move on its belly, and forever he would eat dust which is dirty. Between the snake and the woman would be enmity, and between their offspring would be no unity. The woman's seed will bruise the snake's head, and the snake will bruise his heel for bruising its head. While the woman in pain and sorrow conceived, for letting the snake deceive, and her desire would be for her husband, her son, and he shall rule over her. Man then knew his wife, and birthed one who killed with a knife, his only brother, his wills, not a bother. For this, God did not forgive, but made him a fugitive. Seven times of his bill, only can a man kill. Then came Lamech, a descendant of Enoch, not like the wretched Enoch, who slew this fugitive and carried all the negative. The latter, a righteous man and a wonderful gentleman, who did walk with God, as Noah also pleased God. In Noah's time, angels fell with those in that regime, but Noah found God's favor, less said about his spiritual favor. But in Hebrews 11, we read that Noah did fulfill the will of God through a holy faith in God. God did vow to wipe the world with just a swipe of water from his eyes and melted heavenly eyes. Repent, unless they all repent. Noah preached 